Hey guys, welcome back. In this episode, we're gonna be doing some work on the 991. Before we talk about that though, let's talk about Project 996. For all you Project 996 fans out there, I am very sorry, but the wait is almost over. Three coats of paint are on, three coats of clear coats. It's now just getting reassembled. Patrick and I are gonna be picking it up at the end of the week, and then we're gonna start making videos about it. It's really exciting. Um, we're calling it Sharkskin Blue. We're trying to go for barley blue, and this is one of the things that's taken a while and why it's been delayed so much. We're trying to get it to look like barley blue. It's an OEM color, it's been discontinued. It couldn't be replicated. So the blue we have is really, really close, but because it's not quite barley blue, we've called it Sharkskin Blue. Patrick's company, Sharkskin Designs. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. Project 996, coming back soon. Anyway, in this video, it's all about the 991, and I'm gonna be doing some style changes to it. Yes, once again, I know I've just taken off the blue wrap. I know I can't stop fiddling with my car, but I'm a tinkerer, it's what I do. So I'm gonna be adding some red and some red and some red. I hope you're gonna like it. Let's go check it out. So this video started in one direction and it took a slightly different direction when I realized that the red seat belts that I previewed on Instagram and are sitting sort of right there in the box don't fit the car. They don't fit the car. Or at least they do fit the car, but they don't fit the car properly. And I'll talk about that a little bit more in the video. I'd essentially be losing a couple of safety features if I went for these. But that's what you get for spending $35 on some product from eBay. Anyway, I do like eBay. You can find good stuff on there, right? But anyway, they're going back. $35 each, $70. That is back in the bank, baby. That is back in the Porsche Spank Bank. Uh, I'm gonna be doing something else. But in this video, we're gonna be focusing on the seatbelts. I asked you guys on Instagram what you wanted me to do first, the sports chrono clock, which is sitting there, which I actually did while I was waiting for some help this afternoon. Patrick, thank you very much. Um, but we're gonna be doing the seatbelts. I'm gonna change out the seatbelts from black to red. And the red is gonna tie in with the red sports chrono clock. And then that's gonna tie in with the red calipers that I'm gonna have powder coated, my current gray, awful, ruggedy ones are gonna be powder coated red. And I've also pulled the trigger on some uh, gauge faces for the instrument cluster. I'm gonna start with just the one in the middle. I've bought all of them, but I'm gonna install the one in the middle, see how that looks like with the red sport chrono face. <sighs> I'm excited. It's gonna be red, red, red. How far am I gonna go? Nick Murray, I know what you're gonna say. Yeah, should I go for red carbon fiber next? Maybe, maybe I should. Anyway. Anyway, let's just focus on one job at a time. It's one of those days. I'm full of energy. I'm full of excitement to be working on the car. But things are going to be going wrong. Things have already gone wrong. <laughs> the seatbelts don't fit. Anyway, first job is to remove the seats. I can't get to the seatbelts. I can't get my tools in there to disconnect the bolts. Um, I need to take out the seats. So this video is not only gonna be a DIY seat belt removal video, it's also gonna be a seat removal video. And from what I found on YouTube, there aren't many videos out there. So here's an opportunity. Seat removal 
and seatbelt removal. Let's get to it. To the rescue, Pat. <laughs> Mr. Pat to the rescue. <laughs> Did you bring the magic doobery for the doobery? That's, That's it. it. That's what we need. Okay. I got those and I also have, I have the deep horns. Oh, too. oh, double bubble. Hey Pat, you figured it. So, in order to get access more to getting this out, we were only getting it about halfway, but what it's doing is it's hitting the back side of the motors on your seats. So we had to pop it off the back, which is just these little slide clips here. As soon as we did that, we pulled it all the way out and unlocked it more. So we can... Good job, Pat. So, there we go. You earned your sandwich, mate. Good job. I got a sandwich? No. Oh, oh, good job. Okay guys, at this stage of the video, we've got the seats out. It took a while. Patrick thankfully came over to help me because first off, I didn't have the doobery to uh, remove the bolts. <laughs> it was a special little bolt. I, don't, I didn't have them, they're E-bolts. Um, or the E-sockets, sorry, I didn't have them. Uh, and then he decided to stick around and he gave me a big help. I mean, what are friends for? Uh, but let's just have a quick look at some of the things from the chair that you need to be aware of if you're gonna try and attempt this yourself. So first off, never underestimate how dirty your car is gonna be when you remove a seat. Good Lord, I, I vacuum this car all the time, never mind. Uh, okay, so you can see where the bolts go into the frame, of course, and there are four of them, and they're all the same, all the same bolts. Um, the wiring harness was tricky to pull out uh, because the black clip that fits into the other side uh, couldn't be pulled out all the way without moving it away from the motor to get some leverage so it could come out fully. You remove the yellow clip here, but you also need to remove the secondary wiring harness. And this one just, you know, little push on the top and it comes out quickly. And this little toggle here holds it into the seat. But that's it, four bolts and a wiring harness. And then out here, you can see my two lovely seats. Okay, so here's the next part of the fun and games. And yes, I'm sat inside my car that doesn't have any seats. But in order to get the right access to, uh, let's see, hang on. In order to get the right access to the panel you see behind me, we needed to remove the rear seats. And uh, not, not the seat backs, but just the seat bases. And this is a really easy job to do. I have a video on my YouTube channel that shows you how to do this. But essentially there's one bolt in here and there are two bolts either side. I think one is, this one I think is 13 millimeter and this one, uh, these are either 15 or 17. I can't remember, but you know, they are what they are. They are, my face is overexposed. Uh, so, and then once you take out those three bolts, you can remove the two uh, seat belt receptacles and then you can pull out the seats here, which are just connected with Velcro. But essentially that then allowed us uh, to pull forward this trim without having to take it off completely. Um, we took out the speaker cover, we took out the speakers, um, we then lifted this trim piece up. The clips um, don't actually hold it on, they hold it in position. So you have to lift the clips up and then you can pull it back. Um, but pulling it back then allowed us to get into um, the, uh, the bolt area so we could remove the seat belts. Now I appreciate this might be a little difficult to see, uh, but essentially we have uh, one bolt here which holds um, the, seat, the top of the seat belt into place. And then behind this panel is where we removed another bolt 
And then down at the bottom is where the receptacle came out. We'll show you that um, in the video too, of course. Uh, this, this trim piece here, um, it just, you know, two clips there, two clips there, comes off nicely. Um, I think actually we've got one little bit of clip remaining in there, which needs to go back on. Uh, but these three bolts, uh, pretty big, mean looking bolts. Um, these just, you know, one here, one at the bottom, and then you've got two little plugs that you need to remove as well. Did you hear that 12 volts? No. Oh, listen to that power. <laughs> There you go, ratchet it down, there you go. Take one and then just the top one here. And that should be the same size, I would assume. Just a, just a slide over. Okay. <laughs> One more clip. That must be just the same thing. Could it be that simple, Pat? Mm, we don't got the other one in yet. This one. Just, oh, clever. That's awesome. So what I have noticed is that there are two electrical plugs here attached to this Porsche, um, this Porsche uh, seatbelt. Um, there aren't any equivalents on the one that I've bought, which is probably why these cost $900 and the one I got from eBay was $35. Um, but at least I'm gonna see what happens when I turn the engine back on. And here are the parts that I've taken out. So first for the seats, you take these uh, trim pieces off the end of the rails and then you can get to two screws. And then at the back of the rail, um, the two screws are visible. So they are just on the front of each rail for each seat. Uh, on one panel, I took out the speaker, but I've realized that you don't need to take out the speakers. You just need to take out the screws. Uh, the other speaker sitting in there. Speaker grills. These are the seat belts from the rear seat with the little covers. And then these are the top of the, uh, the B pillars uh, where the seat belts come out. And you don't need to take this trim piece off. You just need to pop this piece off. Two clips on the bottom, two clips on the top, and a plug. Jobs are good. So that's it for this video. Part one has been seat removal and seat belt removal. Now, as I mentioned, the seat belts that I bought from eBay, not gonna fit, should have known better. So I'm going through Max Speed Motorsports in Florida, and they do a return service where I'm gonna ship overnight the two seat belts that I've just removed from the front and the passenger side of the car. They're gonna put new red seat belts inside that housing, inside that component, and then return them again overnight. Should take about a week. Uh, it's about 120 bucks. That's how it kind of works out per seatbelt. So including shipping, I think it was about 250 bucks all in all. Um, for peace of mind, knowing that I'm gonna retain the safety features of the OEM seatbelt component uh, and just swapping out the webbing so it's red instead of black, I'm much happier with that. You know, safety first at the end of the day. So part two of this video will be the seatbelt installation. Uh, I will at some point show my sports chrono over there. I've gone back to red, it was red beforehand, or at least it was black, and then it was red, and then it was blue, and now I've put it back to red with a brand new sports chrono gauge face, which, by the way, are available from autoamateur.com forward slash shop. <laughs> you can get them in any color you want. They are all been designed to match with the, uh, the different Porsche colors. The boring ones, the fun ones, and everything in between. Uh, so that's going to be going back in. My seatbelt's going to be going back in. And then in a couple of weeks' time, my instrument cluster is going to arrive. That is a really fun job I'm looking forward to. Uh, and maybe while the car is out of action, it's time to get the wheels off and get the brake calipers off and get them over for powder coating. So more content coming soon, especially Project 996. More 991 stuff. I hope you're staying well, safe, healthy, sane, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in another video soon. Bye.